Hi, I'm Savannah Blake and I'm a model, creative director, radio presenter and I co-founded Wave magazine. So I'm definitely most proud about Wave magazine which I co-founded. The reason why is because the artists, the calibre of artists that we've managed to get on there has been kind of like shocking. You know, sometimes you look back at the calibre of people that we've had and you're going to have to pinch yourself. And we built that project and the magazine with the intentions to create a platform for emerging and up and coming artists. So kind of like a ones to watch. And we've been kind of successful in doing that so far. And it's kind of been a domino effect for those artists in their careers, like giving them their first cover and seeing how much they've progressed since then. So yeah, it's been exciting and very, very proud of it to be honest. So my personal style, I would say is, I like to dress quite classic and timeless. So I want to be dressed as if you could put me in the 80s or the 90s or the early 2000s. So I'm very much a baggy jean type of girl, um, white tank vest, oversized shirt, kind of dress like mandem sometimes and a good trainer. And then in terms of Wave magazine, I feel like our style is very different to a lot of magazines because we are always putting out what we think the youth want to see. So essentially we're a platform that was built by young people and for young people and there's no rules in what we want to put out. So, you know, we talk about taboo subjects, we put people on a cover who aren't necessarily it yet, but we have a strong faith that they're going to become someone down the line. I feel like we have a really strong creative circle just as a whole in the industry. Creatives kind of bounce off each other. I'm lucky enough to have creative friends and a creative community. We do our radio show with Rinse every week and they've kind of been a family to us since. And they put on a sports day with On Running, which basically brought loads of different creatives together from different platforms. You had DJs, uh, you had us with our own team and we were lucky enough to bring our own DJ on. And that was great because we were all from different platforms, but cheering each other on and egging each other on. It was the first day of summer and it was just really nice to see how we were all supporting each other's set and supporting each other's sports days, even though we're from different walks of life and we're doing our own thing. But, you know, when you're creative, I think you always help each other collaborate in any way you can. My inner circle is full of really cool creative friends. So I've got my co-founder, Alexa, one of my best mates, Maxie Mills. He throws the best parties. I've got Rio Blake, she's a great photographer. I've got uh, Tia O'Donnell, she's an incredible artist. And it's great because at some point in our lives, we've all collaborated with each other and we're all really good friends before that. So if you have creative friends, you're always going to have boundless opportunities to collaborate with each other. Who would I want in my inner circle who was famous, dead or alive? I'm going to go with, I'm actually going to say Kanye West because I think that there is genius to his madness. Um, I think whatever we'd end up collaborating on will still resonate in 10 to 15, 20 years time because he's always ahead of the curb. And um, yeah, he's, he's, he's a pioneer in what he's been doing. So I'm going to, I'm going to say Kanye. When it comes to creative blocks, I think it's normal to have them quite regularly. I don't think it's normal to be consistently creative because then there's no intention with what you're doing. And I think when you're creatively tapped into stuff, you have to have integrity and intention with what you're doing. And sometimes when you have a creative block, that can cause self-doubt, but you should always try and keep persevering because if you're in a state of lack then you won't receive what you're looking for so always just stay positive don't compare yourself to others know that you're only competing against yourself and if you just feel good in yourself the ideas will eventually come and you'll no longer have to create a spot. So we're working on our seventh issue at Wave magazine and we've had a little hiatus so I'm excited because I think this issue is going to really celebrate something for the youth and we have been working on it for a while so I'm excited to bring that out, it's coming out soon and in addition to that we're building the foundations of creating a podcast 
as well, which hopefully will come out in the new year. So yeah, just stay tuned to see Wave Magazine's next issue and tune into radio on Rinse FM Tuesdays 11am every week.